Okay, so this is the video comparing my output with what I got in RoboDK. So these dimensions for the robot in its zero position were gotten from, get there, here, the robot is in its zero position. And we can see here the RP, essentially, of our end effector in X, Y, and Z. Now, here, how we got the SWs is just by rotating each of the joints, let me back down here, in their positive direction and seeing in which axis they were rotating. For the A's, we went to the user guide linked in the wiki and the technical drawing there, and that's how we got where the point for each of the screw axis was located. Now for our angles of 90 degrees in theta one and minus 90 degrees in theta two, all the others are zero. We go to our Python code right here. We have the user inputs theta one, 90 degrees, theta two minus 90. We arrange them into an array. We put all of our A's into this array all of our screw axes into this array, the M that we got into this array, the six types of rotational joints here, then we simply run it. And we get our R and our P, which are the same values that we have over here. And now to put this in robo DK, we are simply going to make theta one be 90 and theta two be minus 90. So we go back to RoboDK, we go over here, this is 90 degrees, and theta 2 is minus 90 degrees. We can see the position that the robot took, and then we can see that for P, X is minus 1, Y is minus 891.7, and Z is 284.8. You can see those, those are the same values that we got here. And for the rotation matrix, this is saying that the X axis of the end effector is now in negative Z. The Y axis is now in positive X and the Z axis is now in negative Y. And if we look at our end effector, our X axis, the red one, is now in negative Z over here y axis is in positive x and z axis is in negative y which is exactly the rotation matrix that we got over here so both our code and robo decay output the same result hello this is maya dunlap and this is my submission for homework five so here i have the code written um that is taken from lab 10 that does the forward kinematics for um, the Canova Gen 3 six degree freedom robot. So I've already input all of the desired um, joint angles into this Python script, as well as um, the values for A, SW, uh, the fact that all the joints are rotational, as well as M. And so running this script gives me the following transformation matrix, as well as the rotation matrix the associated rotation matrix and translation vector. So then going to RoboDK, I've already input all of the subsequent angles into RoboDK, um, and it gives the same translation vector and um, the equivalent XYZ Euler angles to match that rotation matrix. Thank you. For homework five, I began by putting the Kinovo Gen 360OF robot into zero position. As you can see, all the theaters are in zero. Then I figured out the direction of positive rotation using RoboDK for each of the um, joints. And then I went and edited my Python code to input a custom position and in which my theta two, theta three, and theta five are in 90 degree angle and then i edited each of the length, link lengths to match the technical drawings of the robot 
I edited the A matrix, the rotational matrix, as well as the M matrix, and added six R's for the six revolute joints that are present. And when I run the code, this is the results that I get. Um, as you can see for my P matrix, my in my X position is in 242.6, my Y is in 1, and my Z is in 599.1, and this is the final rotational matrix at the end of Victor. And if I go back to RoboDK and edit the, these joints to have 90 degrees for R2, theta 2, 90 degrees for theta 3, 90 degrees for theta 5, and the final position should look like this, and it matches my output of my Python code in which my x gives me 242, my y is 1, my z is 599, and the rotation of the end effector is 0, 0, negative 1, 0, negative 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 0, this, which also matches my output. That's the end of my video.